I completely disagree with you because he was talking about something that he believes has been going on throughout this season. Um, he wasn't complaining about just one game. He was just fed up because he's talking about a litany of issues that have involved officials throughout this NBA season. And players talk to one another. You watch the games. I watch the games. We see what the hell is going on. The, the officials are too excessive. I'm not going to even get into the particulars of last night because it's a bigger issue going on that I think needs to be brought to the forefront. Whether it's the NBA's fault because they're bringing a heavy hand on the officials or whether it's the officials being soft mentally and being overly sensitive to every little thing that's going on with these players. We got a problem in the National Basketball Association right now when it comes to these officials. Listen, the other night I watched the Los Angeles Lakers go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns, and I brought this up yesterday. And we're talking about the Phoenix Suns being relevant, being exceptionally well coached by Monty Williams, having a star on their squad in Devin Booker, and for some unforeseen reason, only known to the officials, Devin Booker gets ejected. There's not fisticuffs going on here. It's not a fight that broke out or anything like that. What the hell is he getting ejected for? It's bad enough we don't have the fans in attendance because of COVID-19 for the most part. But then on top of it all, we were, you're asking people to watch your product at home on television. And one of the stars, you're going to eject him for that reason? Donovan Mitchell is playing last night. It's overtime. They're balling. They're going at each other. Embiid is in the midst of a 40-19 and 19 performance. Ben Simmons, like you said, was balling out defensively. Donovan Mitchell had about 33 points, but it was on 34 shots, which isn't that impressive. I get it, but damn it, he's still Donovan Mitchell. And when you talk about the Utah Jazz and you're talking about them being in a small market and obviously people not really rooting for them per se because nobody wants to see Utah in the finals because that's what they were alluding to, then you know what? We have to understand that and we have to say, okay, wait a minute, let's pay attention to what's going on here. Donovan Mitchell gets ejected in overtime of a game? Are you kidding me? Donovan Mitchell. The Utah Jazz, you want people to pay attention, watch the Utah Jazz, and you're going to throw their star out of a game for what exactly? And this is the kind of stuff that's been going on for quite a long time. It started regressing, obviously, because of the malice at the Palace in, in Auburn Hills from years ago with Ron Artest and those boys running into the stands. We got all of that. The dress code soon followed and all of this other stuff. We got all of that, too. You want to ingratiate yourself with the masses in America, okay, because over 60% of the American population is white. You got black folks out there in the NBA. You know, it, it, when, when they got into the fight, some folks said, hey, you know what? This could alienate the masses from really uh, uh, supporting your product. We got it then. But now we're talking about the year 2020. 21, and you literally can get thrown out of a game for passing gas. I mean, you can't even sit up there and, and summarily dismiss that notion because you see too many ejections, too many, too many uh, technical fouls being handed out, and you find yourself scratching your head. For what? For what? The other day, Montrell's Harrell got a, a technical foul for screaming and one after he made a basket. What? What? That's what we're doing to these folks. And this is the kind of stuff that Draymond Green was alluding to when he talked about, he wasn't really talking about the officials that particular day, but he talked about how all the heat gets brought to bear on players the second they do anything wrong in the slightest fashion. But anybody else can do something, and guess what? You can get away with it. A team can sit up there and act any old way, but if a player conducts himself in the same way, it's a problem. The players can argue with one another and literally, literally having fun with one another, being competitive with one another. Talking trash is a part of competitive sports. We get that. But now folks want to take that out of the game, too. It's getting ridiculous, and that's why I don't disagree with Donovan Mitchell. I understand your point, Max, because if you're looking at last night's game on his face, all of those points are salient points. I'm not here to refute that. I'm just saying, if you listen to Donovan Mitchell, he was talking about a bigger picture that transcended this one game. This well, one game was the final straw, which indicates that something's been going on in that, throughout this league. And I've spoken to many players this year that have been complaining more about officials than ever before. And the officials will say, you have no idea what these players say to us. You have no idea how they get at us. It's ridiculous, and we're perfectly justified in going right back at them. But in the end, we, pay, we, we want to see the players. And you know what? You got to figure out a way to keep them in the damn game instead of ejecting them from the game and robbing the Figuring fans out a way. of what we want to see. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.